Welcome to myprojectbazaar.com Here we are discussing about area delay power efficient fixed point LMS adaptive filter with low adaptation delay. In this project mainly focused on the adaptive filter in possible delay multiplier in various strip multipliers. Least mean square algorithm are a class of adaptive filter is to design a filter by finding the by binding the filter coefficient with the related to producing the least mean square of the error signals. In our error signal based on the difference between the desired and the actual signal. In our first paper, the proposed fixer point adaptive level with the low adaptive delay for optimizing balanced five plane across in the time consuming combination blocks of the structure. The adaptation delay of our M cycles amount of delay are introduced by the whole of adaptive filter structure consisting of the initiate impulse response filtering and the finite impulse response and the weight response update process. The proposed design is founded is by be more efficient in terms of the power delay product and the energy delay product compared to the existing system. In our enhancement, we propose the efficient multiplication stage in FIR filter technique. In this, we use the partial product delay multiplier method for FIR filter, which gives a delay effect for the bit series of input based and partial multiplication that gives additional result of each delay blocks. This method gives least MSC values and the less energy delay products. The CTS architecture can implement in VLSA platform in the form of each language. We use the challenge to provide VLS language for our architecture. Important characters of array multiplier allow pipeline. Execution of separate multiplication overlap. The long delay of carry propagation addition must be minimized. Achieved by replacing a CBA with several additional rows allows carry propagation for only one position between consecutive rows. To support pipeline, all cells must include latches. Each row scandals a separate multiplier multiplication pair. Register need to propagate multiplier bits to their destination and propagate competitive product bits. It's mainly focused on the project very efficient and very variable reduced in our product. The two basic operation generation and transformation of partial product can be merged avoiding the overhead and speeding up multiplication. Iterative array multipliers consist of additional shells each forming a new partial product and adding it to two previously accumulated partial product. Again in speed obtained at the expense of extra hardware. Can be implemented so as to support a high rate of pipelining. The existing work on the DLMS adaptive filter does not discuss the fixer point implementation uses. Location of radix point choose of wide length and quantization and work sets of computation although they directly affect the conversation performance particularly due to the recursive behavior of the LMS algorithm. Therefore fixer point implementation issues are given adaptive emphasis in the pattern. Besides that we present here the automation of our previously reported design to reduce the number of pipeline delays along with the area sampling period and the energy con the proposed design is bound to be a more efficient in terms of the power delay product and energy delay product compared to the existing structure. We review the TLMS algorithm and in section 3 we discuss the proposed administrative architecture for this implementation. In this plot diagram, referring the flow of our process. First of all, we give the input uh, to the input signal. That input signal is arranged into the bitwise. The bitwise arranged input signal is passed into the pipeline structure. The pipeline uh, structure based on the four steps. We know that the fetch and instructions and execute. Okay, and then finally we pass the our output into the super generator. The super generator output at each clock signal generation based on. Then finally we give the um, super generator output into the add cycle. The add cycle finally um, generate the our single output signal. These are the our working flow of our process. In, in this block there are mainly focused on the efficient design of our process. In this structure reduce the our radio and the delay and also reduce the power consumption also. This is our working structures. Now we are going to discuss about running procedure of our project. In our project we have four step. First step we check the syntax error, then second step we generate the ideal schematic diagram, then third step we generate the technology schematic diagram, then finally we generate the simulation waveform. 
now we are going to the first step first select implementation then select top model then select check syntax in this step check the syntax error of our problem in case of any error and warning that displayed in our our console block in our program we have no error therefore we are going to the second step please select view rtl schematic and run that now we are going to generate the rtl schematic diagram after the completion of our running process add then create schematic this is our overall rtl schematic diagram fir in clock reset these three signals are our input signal fir out th these signals are our output signals this is our internal black diagram of our rtl schematic diagram now we are going to the third step please select wave technology schematic and run that and create schematic this is our overall technology schematic diagram then select this is our internal black diagram of our technology schematic in this technology schematic diagram consists of number of LUTs and flip flops now we are going to the final step select simulation select main function then select simulate behavior model and run that first set the initial condition set the clock value to 0 reset value set to 0 give the input signals and run our program then I can change the clock value set to 1 and run that this is our reset condition value change the clock value to 0 and set the reset value to 1 and run our program then I can change the clock values simultaneously zeros and ones and run now we generate the output signals every positive clock cycle we get the different kind of output this is our overview of our simulation waveform now we complete our running procedure thank you